Hi everyone! So it's the end of the month, which means it is time for my monthly favorites. It went over really well last month, so I'm gonna keep doing these. Um, so I've got I've got some things that I've been really enjoying this month. So to start off with, I'm gonna start with some bookish things. Um, I've been loving these bookmarks from Obvious State. They're actually quite inexpensive, which is lovely. I will link uh, their page down below. They also do art prints, but I really like these bookmarks. Uh, they come in a pack of six, and I think they were like around ten dollars Canadian. Um, and they've got quotes from uh, various authors. I don't. I only have five of them here because my sixth one is currently holding my place in a book. Um, but they've got quotes from William Blake, William Wordsworth, John Keats, Percy Shelley, Lord Byron. They're just these beautiful floral designs which just remind me of spring and make me really really happy because I love flowers in spring as evidenced by my floral print talk today. Um, so for like bookish things, those have been I've been really liking those. I'm kind of picky about my bookmarks. I'm realizing, I'm coming to realize. Um, I used to just use the ones that Book Depository sent me, and they're great. Like they've got some really great designs, but I have so many of them, and I kind of just want to like scale back and only have a few that I really like. So that's kind of where I'm where I'm heading with my bookmark situation. Just to let you guys know, you know that's really important. Um, so my favorite book of the month was Bleak House. I absolutely love this. I read this fairly early on in the month with Ange and Yamini and Helene and Ange, Yamini and I absolutely loved it. Helene ended up DNFing it which is a bit unfortunate but uh we loved it. We read it in like four days. We somehow like I don't know I sometimes go into what I like to refer to as like cyborg mode. This is kind of a joke that I'm not entirely human and sometimes my robot side comes out and I just powered through this and read like over 500 pages in like four hours and it was kind of insane. I was keeping Yomini and Ange up to date on Voxer. We were talking about it and they're like, we don't know how you're doing this. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm doing this. Also, sorry if the lighting's changing. Uh, we just had an ice storm the other day and it's kind of like filtering in weird through my window. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoyed Bleak House. I will be doing probably a full review later on in the month, like later on in April, because um, I just loved it so much. So now on to makeup and I only have two things and they're both like in little tubes. So my favorite lip product this past month has been, surprise surprise, a Kat Von D um, and it is in the shade Mother and I actually just got this and it's this really pretty like rose shade. It's probably the pinkest out of all of them. I'm not going to swatch it because it'll be on my hand for the rest of the day and it just kind of, you know, but it's, it's very beautiful. Um, just kind of this kind of dusty rose. I've been wearing it a lot in videos recently and I just, I like it. It's my favorite out of all my Kat Von D's. This is, when it came back in stock, I was so excited. Um, I tend to like a little bit more pigmented lips just because my lips are naturally pigmented. Um, I find it very weird to wear light shades. It just totally throws me off. It takes me a minute to adjust to them uh, in the mirror. But uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite. And then my other one is a new purchase and that is the NYX tinted brow mascara. Um, we just started, we used to be able to get NYX at Target, but Target has since left Canada and they just uh, started carrying them at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is like kind of the boots or the uh, Rite Aid of Canada. Um, and I just picked this up. I'm really lazy with my brows and because my glasses are so big you can't really see them. Um, but I like having a tinted brow mascara because it just kind of, it keeps them in place. And it doesn't really darken them up, but it kind of fills them in a little bit. Um, I really naturally, like I like my brows naturally, I'll take off my glasses. I can't see right now, because obviously, but like if you can see, they're just a little bit better filled in. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a good brow mascara, I'm using the shade for blondes. Um, and they have ones for brunettes and ones for um, like darker brows. So yeah, definitely these are my two makeup favorites. Um, on to my favorite like fashion ones is one of the ones I'm currently wearing so I'm going to stand up a little bit and try not to knock my camera because it's fairly close to me um, and it is this like sheer kimono sleeve like blouse that I got from H&M very recently. It's kind of sums up this outfit today. I'm like ah oh, I just love this outfit. It sums up my like spring capsule wardrobe which is like stripes and florals is basically basically what I'm going for. So I absolutely love this. I like that it's like a sheer layer. It'll be really good going into summer as well. Um, I think it was only like $20 at H&M and I just got it so if you want to run out to H&M and get this it's just really pretty. Um, and then my Slightly bigger purchase. Um, I needed a new black purse because my I've had a Michael Kors one for like six years 
and it was expensive at the time and I really like I love it but it's starting to like break down just as you know stuff does over time when you use it all the time so I decided to invest with my uh, tax refund in a new purse and so I got the Rebecca Minkoff Regan satchel I wanted a bigger one um, and it's nice and large it definitely will fit like my iPad it'll fit um, a book in it it's got like a little pocket up here that I don't really use um, I'll open it up and show you guys I guess it's and I've got the dust bag in it just to kind of keep it stuffed um, but it's nice and large um, so it was a bit a bit pricey a bit more than I normally like to spend um, but I really love it and the leather is really soft and buttery and I like leather purses um, and it's probably gonna be like my purse purchase for the next couple of years and I just thought it was really nice. It's a different shape than what I normally carry as a purse um, but I think I'm gonna really like this. I've been swapping between this and my Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac which I've had for a couple of years um, just depending on how large of a purse I want to carry and so I'm really really enjoying that. Um, on to food things. I totally forgot to grab the tea but I'm gonna mention it and it is ginger beer from David's Tea, shockingly enough. Um, I've been really enjoying this. I mentioned this in my like tea tour video. It's kind of an old favorite and it's just, it's really, really gingery. And I've just been enjoying it like after meals. It kind of like helps with digestion and stuff and it just tastes really good and it's kind of nice and warm. It's kind of being really chilly here uh, recently. We've had like a big ice storm that, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of people lost power, thankfully not me, but um, yeah, it's it's just kind of nice to, to drink something like that. And then for food, for sweet stuff, and guys, be very impressed because these have been in my house for two whole days and I haven't eaten any. Cadbury cream eggs. Um, I try and restrict my like ingestion of these because I get really addicted to them. Obviously, I've bought a three pack here. Um, it's Easter this weekend when I'm filming, so these will be disappearing pretty soon, but I absolutely love these. I'm still loving the mini eggs. I'm still buying them in like bulk. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be stocking up on these when they go on sale <laughs> next week. But yeah, I've been I've been eating a few of these. It's it's the end of like the winter season for me, and I tend to go through like phases of my eating where like in the winter time I really really crave chocolate because of the, like just seasonal affectional disorder, and so I eat chocolate like every day. And then in the summer I just don't eat chocolate, so it's really easy for me to like cut it out in the summer and be a little healthier, and like I start craving healthy things again. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat all the Cadbury cream eggs. And then for a savory treat, I have these Schneiders of Hanover um, cheddar cheese like pretzel pieces. And they're, they're kind of like, I don't eat a lot of chips, um, but I like salty snacks. So these are kind of what I've been munching on. Um, it's like half empty. Obviously I've been, I've been snacking on these, but uh, yeah, these are I'm definitely digging these. They remind me a bit of combos. I don't know if you guys know, like the little pretzel pieces with the, the they're like round. Um, and I really like those growing up, but these are kind of like, they've got a more complex flavor. Like they're not as a simple. Um, so they're definitely more of like, a, I would say an adult combo, um, but very, very tasty. Probably gonna eat some of those after I'm done filming this. Um, for house things, I have been absolutely loving fresh cut flowers um, and I have my tulips that I have for this week. I've been loving tulips because they are so so cheap. I think they're like seven dollars for this beautiful beautiful bunch. Um, I'm gonna set these down because I don't want to damage them and it's just kind of nice like I've been buying myself flowers every week just to kind of brighten up my room and just kind of make myself feel a little less like depressed about winter and like all the gross stuff. Um, so yeah and also, I totally forgot to mention, I absolutely love this. I'm gonna pull it down. I just reached over. My door is like right here. Um, I also have another fashion one, which I forgot about, but I thankfully remember before I finish filming this video. And it is the books in my bag. The bard is my bag tote. Um, I was lucky enough that my lovely friend Nicola, when she was contacted by Books Are My Bag about their whole Shakespeare campaign, uh, mentioned what a fan of Shakespeare I am and they contacted me and sent me the tote um, and like a bunch of other stuff and it just, oh, they don't normally, like it's, it's a British program, 
and kind of sucks if you're a non-British booktuber because everybody in like the UK is all about books in my bag and it's just awesome because I saw this uh, Jen posted this Jen Campbell on Instagram and I just fell in love with it and it's just so awesome because you guys know how much I love Shakespeare and like see Shakespeare plays every year and I just absolutely love it so I just wanted to throw that in going back to, to fashion things I've been using it a lot um, I tend to carry like if I use my smaller purse I tend to carry a tote bag just to kind of like be able to throw things in if I'm out shopping. Um, so for TV shows, now we're getting into the kind of like nerdy stuff, the nerdy portion of the of the favorites video. Um, I've been watching Pokemon a lot, the XY season. I realize I'm an adult, but it's the 20th anniversary of Pokemon and I grew up with Pokemon and I absolutely love it. And it's just something I can kind of throw on in the background and watch and just like not like I can kind of half pay attention to and it's just it's fueling my love for Pokemon and I'm so excited for the new edition Sun and Moon to come out in like the next like fall winter season and so yeah I've been watching a lot of Pokemon yeah, yeah totally fully grown adults here yes um, I've also been watching a lot of How to Get Away with Murder which I really enjoy and I think the season finale just aired on that and it's just absolutely wonderful um, I actually really like Shonda Rhimes as like a producer. I think she does a lot of great stuff. Uh, so if you're looking for kind of like more of like a mystery and kind of like thriller, I would recommend that. Um, if you're looking for something fun and cute, go for Pokemon. Um, my favorite game this month has been a phone game and I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can kind of see and it is Marvel Avengers Academy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's basically like every other city builder in that it takes forever and they want you to spend money but you don't have to but I'm totally obsessed with this game guys. I will literally set timers on my phone to like remind me when to check back in to to like send people out on missions and it's kind of nice because it's a low-key game so I don't have to play it all the time. Um, but yeah, that was actually at Coffee with Jessica from Foolish Oats and I, my timer went off and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I just... I gotta play Marvel Avengers Academy for like two seconds. I just gotta send them out on missions. I'm trying to recruit Pepper Potts and it's really important. <laughs> this is, it's, it, it's affecting my real life. Um, it happens. Uh, so my favorite Funko Pop, I actually have two this month um, because one I found in the wild and one came from one of my subscription boxes. Also, if you guys wanna see me do a Funko box or like Funko Pop kind of uh, tour of what I have for my Funko Pops, I don't own that I, like I own more than the average person but I don't own like that many but somebody on my last video requested that I do that and so if you guys want to see that um let me know in the comments down below and I'll see about filming that um so the first one which I found in the wild is one I really wasn't expecting and I wasn't shopping for Funko Pops I was actually shopping for like an apple corer um and I was at Bed Bath & Beyond weirdest place and it is the smog chase variant um so it's got the chase sticker it's a limited edition it's different from and i can't reach my regular smog but my regular smog has black eyes um which you can see kind of in the artwork on the side but the chase edition has the like snake eyes are the snake eyes kind of um so i was really as soon as i saw it i was like nope this is mine um and it was the only one there and i was really really happy because I, I love my smog and now i have the chase so all i need is the gold hot topic exclusive which i don't know if i'll get but i was pretty happy to find this in the wild and felt very lucky and then the one that came in my subscription box is the one that I actually just got like a couple days ago and it is the Ben Kenobi one from the Smuggler's Bounty. It's got the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive sticker. I really like these boxes. Um, I kind of wish I bought the first one. I didn't know about it and I, when I was ordering I didn't really feel like spending an extra like 30 bucks uh, to get the, the Captain Phasma but I like that he's in an action pose. I'll take him out of the box. I wasn't going to take the smog out of the box um, just to show you which is nice because it's different from like the normal Funko kind of square pose, but they're really doing a lot of like action poses. Like um, I have the Daredevil action pose. Oh, and he's falling off his stand and everything. So I don't take things out of the box on camera. Um, and he's got his little little stand. If I can get him back in. So he, they, the reason why the Funko um, 
Star Wars and the Marvel are bobbleheads are because of licensing agreements because Hasbro I think has the licensing agreement for figurines for Star Wars and I forget who has the licensing agreement for Marvel but it's the way that they can make them without you know copyright um, conflict and so he's in this little action pose and it's from the Katina cantina scene and it's just absolutely awesome like I love this guy I love I love Obi-Wan Kenobi he's one of my favorite characters from uh, the original Star Wars and from the prequels he is literally my favorite character um, so yeah I, I just really enjoyed that so my final favorite which is my YouTube favorite is Katie from Books and Things if you like my channel content and you like the fact that I talk about a lot of classics go check out Katie because she is absolutely fantastic uh, I absolutely love her content and she talks about like she's just done a th series called like what the Dickens which she goes through every single I think every single or like the majority of Dickens works she's doing this new series called how to speak Victorian which she talks about Victorian literature uh, she's just all around fantastic and a really informative like classics booktuber so I would highly recommend going to check out her channel I will link it down below and yeah so that was my monthly favorites for the month of March I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in another video bye